I'm Tammy. Thank you so much for joining me. I am a creator and a small business owner. I absolutely love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. And I love being able to make ornaments, decor, and gifts for my family, friends, and for my customers. I wanted to share with you a cute little ornament that I made with my X-Tool M1. This is one of my favorite tools to create with. It is a laser cutter and it is also a blade cutter, which makes it a unique machine at a very affordable price point. It's easy to learn and you can see how easy it is to get started with your first project. I like to find free designs online. One of my favorite websites to find those at is three, the number three, axis, A-X-I-S dot C-O. This is actually a four part ornament. I kind of actually like it with just three parts. So I'm gonna show you the different parts on this. I just put this together on a temporary basis so I could show you the four different elements to it that we are going to create tonight. Okay, so this is the base plate. This is the first layer. This is the second layer. And this is the third layer. Here are the materials we'll be using. Three millimeter basswood, ribbon for hanging the ornament, acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and a glue. I chose strong bond medium glue. You also could stain these pieces, which would make a nice finish as well. And put our three millimeter basswood into our machine. We're going to want to put triangular prisms on the bed of our M1 to hold the wood up and allow air to circulate underneath them during cutting. When I am doing laser cutting, I do remove my blade from my M1 just to reduce my chances of getting cut when I'm working in the machine and damaging the blade. Okay, we're gonna to wanna to put this in the center as much as we can. We're now over here on my computer in Xtool Creative Space. First, you wanna make sure you're connected to your device. If you aren't, you can click on the little gear up here in the corner and switch device. USB or Wi-Fi is how I normally connect. You also have an IP option as well. I'll select the device I want and refresh. Okay, we're gonna hit refresh one more time up here in the corner to make sure we're getting the current capture image. Now it's time to bring our design into our workspace. These are SVG files, so Xtool considers them to be images. So we're gonna go ahead and scale each piece. We're gonna just make it a little bit smaller so we can fit these all on here and then we'll actually size them down. Let's bring the second one in. Again, we have to scale it, size it down. Third one. I'll bring that second one down a little bit. And the last piece, which is the base piece, which we'll call layer four. And this is the one with the ornament holder at the top. Okay, so we're gonna wanna make all of these the same size with the exception of the base plate, which has to fit these pieces. I want these to be three and a half inches. Up here, I'm currently in millimeters. So I wanna switch that in settings to inches and just close that window. You don't have to save it. And then I'm going to make each of these 3.5 inches.
Okay, and lastly, I'm going to fit one of these pieces into the base plate and resize it manually. I do want a little bit of an edge to the base plate. If you don't, you can size it exactly. It's your choice. Okay, that gives me just a little bit of edge around it. I'm happy with that. I just want to center it. If you want to center this automatically, you can select both pieces, do a line horizontal center, just to make sure you like the spacing. We aren't going to leave it there though. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull that back out of there. Okay, we do have to space these out. And I'm going to just tip this one a little bit to maximize my wood space. I'm all about, about saving space. Okay, now it's time to set up our material. We are going to do laser flat, user-defined material. Our thickness is 2.8, but you'll notice here that we're in inches instead of millimeters. You'll, it's indicated by the parentheses and IN next to thickness. So we need to go back to settings and switch back to millimeters. And then we're going to do 2.8 for our thickness in millimeters. We're on triangular prism. The sooner you do this, the better, because as you can see, these shifted a little bit on spacing. So I wanna go ahead and rearrange these one more time. I don't like to get too close to the edge. Um, it's just a personal preference. I just find I get a better cut sometimes if I'm not right on the edge. Okay, let's go ahead and select each of these pieces and then we're going to select for them to be cut. And I did that by selecting my first piece, holding down the control key while I selected the other three. We're gonna put it to a power of 100 with a speed of five and I'm gonna be able to do it with one pass. Okay, let's click off of that. Now we wanna go ahead and hit process. When it comes over here to this screen, you want to make sure that you're happy with what you're seeing here because this is exactly what's going to happen when you start this laser. If it's in a purplish blue color, it's going to be cut. If it's in a, it's kind of an orange color, it's going to be scored. And if it's in a solid orange, it's going to engrave. So you want to be sure to really look at the design here to see what's going to happen when you start the machine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now we're going to go ahead and frame it just to show you. The framing basically is going to walk the design space around the wood just to make sure that this is going to fit for you. Okay, so I'm going to come over to my machine and we're going to go ahead and watch it frame. We will go ahead and start the machine and then we will watch it space out the design. Okay, framing is complete. And we're gonna go ahead and start the machine. Button one more time on the front of the machine to actually start the process. Okay, the laser is finished cutting. It's time to take our pieces out. We can save the wood for another project. Just remove our pieces. Some of it will fall on the laser bed. That's not a problem. We can up. easily clean. It just reassures that you have a nice clean cut. The pieces didn't fall out automatically. We can go ahead and manually remove just by touching them and dropping them down. 
Okay, and here is our finished product. It's all ready for you to paint or stain, whatever your choice is, and finish your project. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It was super fun to create this adorable ornament. I'm sure you'll enjoy making yours as well. Have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.